Thank you so much for tuning into our Stocks to Watch series, your trusted source for investment information. I'm Ashley Berry, and we're welcoming Pierre Levier, President and CEO of Deep South Resources, Inc. The mineral exploration and development company is focused on the exploration and development of quality assets in significant mineralized trends and in proximity to infrastructure in stable countries. They have a sharp eye on large copper deposits in the most prolific prolific copper areas in the world. Deep South Resources, Inc. is listed on the TSX Venture Exchange as DSM. Pierre, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ashley. Good day, everyone. So for our viewers unfamiliar with Deep South Resources, I'd be you know, delighted if you could maybe provide an overview of the company's distinctive capabilities and, of course, the current mission. Okay. We, um, we are, as you said, an exploration company. We're listed on TSX Venture. Our main project is uh, the Hyde Copper Project in the south of Namibia. It's a very large deposit. We're talking of a, a little bit near uh, 1 billion ton of ore. Uh, we have already established or you know, a resource of uh, near a little bit over 5 billion pounds of copper in the ground. We can expand that tonnage, uh, but the, the main challenge at the moment was to improve the grade. It's a low grade project. And the recent drilling that we have done or started in 2021 and that we will complete now uh, is showing that we have found the right way to improve the grade uh, substantially. From 0.31%, we're pretty convinced we can bring it to over 0.40%, which is a very serious improvement. Uh, and we're talking of a deposit that is starting at surface. So it's it's not a, you know, there's no overburden. So economically speaking, we have a, a PEA that uh, has shown that uh, at $3.50 per pound of copper, we have a uh, an, an after-tax NPV of $1.3 billion US with a capex of $340 million US and uh, an, an internal rate of return of 36% uh, after-tax. We uh, we are just starting some drilling again uh, very soon, in the next week or two. And uh, we have also some uh, uh, exploration licenses in the art of the Copper Belt in Zambia. Uh, and they're very green field compared to the uh, the project in uh, in Namibia. In Namibia, we start the feasibility study stage. Uh, in in uh, in Zambia, it has not been even drilled yet, but extremely well situated. And our first work has you know is pointing in the right direction. Terrific. So this Hive Copper deposit, uh, what right now are the are the steps you know coming up for this project? What do you expect to happen here? Uh, but we're starting to put together a, a feasibility study that we hope that we will complete within the next two, two, two and a half years, and then we will apply for a mining license. So what you will see coming is that drilling starts uh, for 5,000 meters. That will be completed early in 2024. We then have a resource estimation, a new one, uh, and then we will have uh, more metallurgical test work to test the uh, you know heat leaching uh, of the ore of the project and uh, you know other technologies that we will use in combination with uh, heat leaching. We're starting also a uh, uh, an environmental and social impact study. Uh, so all of this together will will create the feasibility study with you know, the mining engineering uh, design and and so on. So we will be very busy on that project for the next two years for sure. Yeah, fantastic. And, you know, 2024 is just months away. So really exciting milestones coming up. Um, so yeah, yeah. Deep South does have the option to acquire up to 80% of three large scale exploration licenses in the core of Zambia's Copper Belt, which you talked about a little bit. Uh, what makes that Copper Belt so appealing right now? Perhaps you can elaborate on those licenses a little bit deeper. And if there are any future plans regarding those options. Okay, uh, the Copper Belt in Zambia it, it includes also uh, uh, the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, and uh, it's considered as the uh, the the first or second uh, most prolific copper belt in the world. Uh, you have fourteen large, very large copper mines in that in that area. All of them are over one billion ton of you know, of ore. Uh, they they have the smallest one I think has twelve billion. 
pound of copper and the, large, the largest one is over 30 billion pound of copper. So we're talking of giants. And, and we like to see ourselves as elephant hunters. That's what we, we, we try to find. Uh, so that's why we're in that area because it's, uh, if you search for copper, it's one of the best area to be, to, as I said, find, you know, to hunt elephants. And uh, uh, the, the, the tree license we have, one is a little bit more advanced. We have done some soil sampling on it, 2,000 samples. Uh, we have already identified uh, 10 large copper anomalies and 13 uh, large cobalt anomalies. Now we will do some geophysical survey to determine at which depth we uh, we will have to uh, to drill uh, because we already have some drilling targets. So that will come in 2024 for the drilling, but the uh, the IP uh, program is starting next week. So uh, that that's pretty exciting too. Yeah, absolutely. So you say 30 billion tons. I think when most people hear that, it's like no. I, I'm sorry. I sorry. I'm. I'm. It was a mistake. I'm thirty billion pounds. <laughs> thirty billion pounds. You. So you yeah, cannot yeah. even comprehend that, really, when you think about uh, that. That must be so exciting for you and for your company. No, yeah, no. It's uh, but it's not what we have, but it's what the mines are surrounding our project at host. And uh, you know, you have companies like Barrick, First Quantum, uh, Glencore. All the majors are in that area, so it's uh, Rio Tinto. <laughs> so that's a very good sign that there's something big in the area, and a very good sign that you're right there playing with uh, the big boys yeah. per se. Um, you know, yes. why copper? Why is copper so hot right now? And you know, how do you get people excited about your mission? Well, copper is 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 going to be the the you know, the uh, main commodity to follow for the next thirty to fifty years. It's very simple to understand. Without copper, you don't have communications. Without copper, you don't have any transportation. Without copper, you don't have any power coming to your house or the or the offices. And I can continue like this. You don't have storage. You don't have internet. You don't have the clouds. You need copper everywhere because that's the main transporter of the power that you need to. You know, and the main transporter of the signals also. So it's, uh, and one of the problem with the copper is that the price was low for a long period of time. So the companies were not spending too much in exploration for copper. Now, suddenly with the green transformation, with the electrification of vehicles and, and, and transportation in general, whoa, suddenly we have a big demand for copper and there's not enough mines in production to and the big mines that are in production are depleting at the moment so what we see now is that the production tends to go down and the demand tends to go up so from next year there will be a shortage and that shortage will remain probably for the next 10 years maybe so uh what will what it will do with the price it will create a squeeze on the price and the price of copper will be uh will be a lot higher than it is now and uh Companies are looking for project everywhere. We see big companies shopping around for you know for project for, of copper. So it places us into a very very good situation for the coming years. Absolutely, and I really appreciate you sort of breaking it down and explaining to our audience the significance of copper in and of itself and how important it is to live in society. Really, um, maybe yeah. we could talk a little bit about the you know, final insights or messages you have for potential shareholders, potential uh, folks that are interested in your mission and, and your company. I invite everyone to follow our story because we just start a, a very active period. We will have a very exciting uh, period starting now and for all two, 2024, there's going to be a huge news flow. We're certain that we're on the right track to improve the grade on our project to and maybe make a discovery also in, in Zambia. So it's all very exciting. And at the moment, because the markets are not extremely, uh, you know, uh, it's extremely strong, but we're we're trading at a, a very good price for a for an entry point. So uh, I still would say stay tuned because it's a story that just start to be very exciting, and there will be a lot uh, to you know to be developed over the next uh, at least twelve months. Fantastic, Pierre. What excites you most about you know your story? Well, there's there's a lot of things, but the main point is that we're arriving near to have a deposit that will be very attractive for uh, strategic players and, and big companies. So uh, 
uh, it, it's it's just arriving there. So it's uh, it's it's going to be a very exciting year. <laughs> so really, it's almost like you're on the cusp of something huge. Really exciting. Pierre, what a pleasure it was speaking with you. Pierre Levee, President and CEO of Deep South Resources, Inc. Thank you for your time and for sharing your important story here with us on Stocks to Watch with Global One Media. We look forward to sharing additional updates with our audience. Thank you very much. And you have a nice day, everyone. 